Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline. So I've got some November favorites for you. Let's hop into it. First off, it is very cold here in Toronto. Um, it's not snowing quite yet, but it is definitely really chilly and my skin has been taking a beating. My lips have been so chapped, so dry. My skin has just been like flaky and like peeling and just ugh, not feeling its best. Um, so what I've been doing to kind of combat the dryness and like the flakiness and it's just had so many rough patches. It makes makeup application like so much harder. Um, I've been using this. This is the Ordinary Rose Hip Seed Oil. Now I'm a huge fan of oils. I talk about them all the time because I think they're so great for your skin. Um, so what I do with this, I take a little drop. I also just love when anything comes in a little dropper. I feel like a little scientist. Um, so I just take one or two drops and mix that in with my moisturizer. You guys know I love Lush Celestial. I'm still using that. But I mix this in mainly at night time and it just works wonders on my skin. I mean, there are a ton of benefits of rosehip seed oil. You can just do a little Google search. But um, yeah, this has really been blessing my skin the past month. Then moving on to lips. I feel like I don't talk about this enough for how often I use this. Like I use this every single day. Um, I kind of bounce in between the Glossier Coconut Balm.com and the Bite Agave Mask. I use them kind of throughout the day. But this is my go-to like nightly lip kind of treatment. It's so thick, it feels like it's honey on your lips. It feels a little weird, but you'll get used to it. But it really just creates this like layer of moisture that nothing can get in or out. So it just really locks in hydration and makes sure that your lips aren't chapped. So normally what I'll do, I'll take a lip scrub before bed, scrub my lips. I have a whole video about lip scrubs if you wanna watch that. Um, and then I'll put a thick layer of this over top. Like I'm talking like smother my lips in it. And then by the time I wake up the next morning, they're like baby soft and not chapped anymore. And this is like my winter cure. Like I could not live without this. Okay, so moving on to a little makeup. This is the NARS Wanted Palette. Now, oh, that's upside down. Now this, first of all, is just beautiful. I love the packaging. Now this is just one of those makeup brands that will always have like a special place in my heart. When I didn't really know much about makeup, when I didn't own any makeup, I used to like watch all these videos and reviews about like NARS products. I thought they were so luxurious and I just dreamed of owning their products. Um, so yeah, just love NARS in general. But this Wanted palette, I'm pretty sure it just came out for Cyber Monday or Black Friday or one of those things um, online on Sephora. But it will be coming out in stores, I think in like January or sometime in the new year. Um, so this was a very exclusive, hard to get palette, but it is so, so worth it. Honestly, there hasn't been that many eyeshadow palettes recently that have excited me or like, I've been like, ooh, I wanna try that out. Um, but this is the exception. I think it's beautiful. I think it's really wearable. You have your neutral tones, you've got mattes, you've got your shimmers. Um, but there are also some interesting colors, like some reddy, pinky tones, and some more greeny gold um, shades over here as well. So you can really create a more unique look and kind of elevate it. I think it is really nice for the holidays, though, because you have those nice kind of warm cranberry tones. I also really like the formulation of the matte eyeshadows in here. They're really buttery and really blendable. Um, the shimmery ones, especially like the really foiled metallic ones, they definitely have fallout. So I'd recommend doing your eyes first and then like cleaning up with a makeup wipe and then doing your foundation after. Um, but oh baby, they are just so pretty and I just love, I just love this. I love having a palette where I'm like, I can see myself using every single shade um, and I don't feel like half of it's going to waste. So super excited about this. Let me know if any of you guys got your hands on this or if you're planning to get it because I think this is definitely going to be a big eyeshadow palette. Next up, I have a brush here. This is the Essence Eyebrow Brush. Now, first off, I don't like the packaging on it. Like I think the colors are very, um, it looks like a toy. It looks like a child's like makeup brush. Um, so I feel like it would have just been a lot nicer if they made it one universal color and sleek, but whatever, Essence, you do you. Um, I really like the brush though. So this is actually an eyebrow brush, but what I normally use it for is for smudging out my liner. I normally like to wear like a brown shimmery liner and just kind of smoke it out and smudge it out like very subtly though. Um, but my struggle has been all the little like eyeliner brushes are so precise and so thin and like pokey that you can't really smudge it out good. It makes it too precise and too, um defined so I wanted to find a little angled brush but that still had some like width to it so you can really like you know go back and forth and um, kind of buff out the product and this one has been my saving grace I think it's so good essence brushes are super cheap too really affordable which is great and um, they're really high quality so I've been a huge fan of this one sorry it's a little dirty I used it this morning the next favorite is a little jewelry favorite and I'm actually wearing it right now. And this is the Thomas Sabo, I think it's called the Disc Necklace. I'll link everything down below. But it's this beautiful gold plated necklace and you can actually personalize it and get it engraved. So I got a little J engraved. I normally wear a thinner, daintier chain. Um, so I really like how this one is a bit thicker so it has some nice contrast, especially when I layer. I just think it's really beautiful and simple and kind of like a timeless piece of jewelry. 
Um, and I mean, I don't really know who wouldn't like something like this. I think this would make a really good gift idea if you guys are still on the hunt for gifts for this holiday season. Um, and yeah, I just think that personalized little element of engraving, it just always makes everything a little more special. Next up, I have a little booty favorite here. Now, Lulu's actually reached out and sent a bunch of clothing and shoes and things over, which was so kind. I'm actually wearing the shirt, it's also from Lulu's. Um, but they sent along these boots and I am obsessed with them. So first off, thanks to Lulu's because that was very generous. But these are just the cutest little things. I've been wanting a pair of like white kind of, I guess it's not really a statement boot, but more of like a standout piece. Um, to just kind of elevate like a simple jean t-shirt power boot that's my thing um <laughs> did that even make any sense i don't know but no these are really comfortable surprisingly great for walking i mean not that i would choose this over like a nike running shoe but if you happen to be walking a distance in these it's not bad at all um these have lots of toe cushion which is great and i surprisingly haven't gotten them dirty yet which i don't know how honestly it's a miracle um but i just really love like the the wooden kind of heel. This is actually a vegan leather, which is great. Um, yeah, overall, just a huge fan of these. I think they're amazing. The brand on these is, I don't know if it's MIA or Mia. Regardless, I love these guys. I know I'm going to get a ton of wear out of them. Last but not least, I have, this isn't, I guess, a food favorite, but a beverage favorite. Um, of course, it gets chilly. I want more tea in my life. I've been loving this tea pigs, green tea with peppermint. Green tea and peppermint tea are probably my two favorite teas of all time. So this is just, uh, you know, ma not marinated. That's really not the word I wanted. Um, the marriage, that's, <laughs> that is very different. Um, the marriage of my two favorite teas into one. Uh, it's really great. You know, it's just peppermint and green tea mixed together. It's a flavor that I didn't know I needed in my life, but it's really nice and I've been having it every morning. Sometimes I'll put like a little bit of agave inside and sweeten it, but sometimes I'll just do it black. But yeah, it's really delicious. I mean, it's just a tea, but I would definitely recommend great thing. So that's it. That's everything for my November favorites. Let me know down in the comments what you guys have been loving over this past month because I would love to hear from you guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Make sure you guys subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. Bye! Okay, now this is always my favorite part when I've already do special effects makeup adding the fake blood. Something about fake blood, it just makes everything look 10 times better. You can hide your mistakes with it and it just makes it look so gory and good.